First things first, do not compare yourself to anyone on social media. Easier said than done, it gets easier, and here's how. When you look in the mirror, who do you see? When you tune out all of society's beauty standards and norms of what you are supposed to look like or present yourself as, who do you see? If you still think negatively of yourself, guess what? That's okay. Even the people you compare yourself to feels the same way about themselves sometimes. Because while social media is a beautiful thing, it's informative, it's inspirational, it's a great way to network, it does have its dark side. So let's start here. Body maintenance. By this, I'm not suggesting that you need to look like a professional model. However, your body is your temple. Take pride in smelling good by thoroughly lathering yourself with body wash or a bar of soap from head to toe in the shower. And with that soap or body wash, pay attention to its benefits. Is it made of natural ingredients? Is it recommended by dermatologists? Don't be afraid to read more than what the product smells like. Oral care. Brush your teeth first thing in the morning and right before bed at night. I personally use a water pick. You can find those at Target, Walmart, Amazon for like 30 bucks. As far as mouthwash, I use this brand. My dentist suggested to me that I put a splash of mouthwash in the back of my water pick. And that mouthwash will go a long way. It lasts financially and hygienically because it gets everywhere. In places that just rinsing mouthwash wouldn't get to. Now this is the last oral tip. Invest in a tongue scraper. That is the main cause of bad breath because obviously when you're eating, the food is on your tongue and so there's like leftover food and on your tongue and it can build up and turn into plaque and give you bad breath and it's bad for you bacteria wise. So get a tongue scraper. You can either buy them on Amazon or the Target, Walmart, and they have the disposable ones. Now, if you're thinking, I don't have money for all of this stuff, the next glow up tip is no more excuses. Now, don't get me wrong. I get it. Times are hard. And you might be under 18, still depending on your parents. Me, for example, I currently work a nine to five job, but when I get my biweekly check, the first things that I take care of financially are my bills, so like phone bill, household bills. I then go to my personal vices. I'm replacing any empty hygiene beauty products. I'm spending a little more on healthier food items when I go grocery shopping. And I still get the things that I want, whether it's little Debbie cakes and things like that. But I'm also going to throw some healthy options in there to balance that diet out. And I'm doing those things as opposed to buying video games or cigarettes or something. There's nothing wrong with leisure, you know, video games or a subscription to something that you may not necessarily need but won't but those things are at the bottom of the list for me i'm taking care of the most important things first but if i can't afford what's at the bottom of the list that month then it is what it is but that also was going to motivate me to get another stream of income somehow um, that's another glow up tip that i can talk about more in another video i could also go all day when it comes to physicality smelling good looking good body maintenance but i can do that in another video if you want to see that comment down below and i start there because you have to start somewhere and why not start with better eating habits and better hygiene once you get that first compliment of you smell good or your teeth are so white that's going to motivate you to continue to glow up let's move on to clothing now you will go crazy and broke trying to follow the latest trends i don't know if you've noticed but everyone is dressing according to how they personally feel these days everything is out there bell bottoms minimalism y2k for me my clothing style is my clothes have to complement my body type no boxy clothes unless there's something that makes you feel most confident that could be your aesthetic i've been modeling for years so i have all of my measurements well most of them in my phone word of advice go to a dry cleaners or a men's warehouse a wedding store and get measured from head to toe it's free 
it used to be free at least. I know everything has gotten sky high now financially. So if you do have to pay for it, it shouldn't be any more than 20 bucks. And either way, it's a good investment. Next is stay groomed. You should go to a barber every two weeks. If you can't afford that, watch tutorials on how to cut your own hair. Or choose a more affordable style, like a buzz cut that'll take longer to grow out, or get locks. You can wait months before getting locks retwisted, so long as you take care of them, of course. I could go into finding your signature scent and healthy hobbies, but I'll save that for another video. Now, if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it to your friends on other platforms. If you're new here, my channel is all about self-expression and becoming the person that we are meant to become. And that's all for today. Ciao for now.